Tonight on Hard Quiz, it's the Ashes. Lee Welder from Bethnal Green, UK. Expert subject, Machen Stamps. Ellie Student from Kingston-upon-Thames, UK. Expert subject, video game, Animal Crossing. Richard, ultrasonographer from Stockton on Tees, UK. Expert subject, Morse code. Lani, well-being officer from Glasgow, UK. Expert subject, goodwill hunting. It's Tom versus the Poms. Here's your host, Aussie Tom Gleeson. Ashes. Welcome to Hard Quiz. These contestants are British. Last one to claim land they don't own will be tonight's Hard Quiz champion. <laughs> to be part of the show at home, go to the ABC TV socials. Let's say hello. G'day, Lani. G'day, Tom. Now, inspired by the cricket, we thought we'd have England, all of you, versus Australia, me. Mm. <laughs> but you're actually from Scotland. Yes, that's true. I was born in Glasgow, but I grew up in Edinburgh. Yeah. Did you play much cricket there? No. Scotland's okay. not really known for its cricket. I know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I've always gone for the English cricket team. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Goodwill Hunting is your expert subject. Yep. Why do you love it? I just think it's the best movie ever. Yeah, why's that? Because I've got a crush on Matt Damon like everyone else does. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're a wellbeing officer. Oh, yes. What does that involve? Um, I get to hang out with uh, teenagers who want to talk, basically. I work at a high school helping kids who uh, are struggling with their mental well-being. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we get it. You're, <laughs> you're contributing to society. <laughs> Do you only turn up to work on Are You OK Day? <laughs> well, I definitely was there this year for that, yeah, but... Uh... Uh, no, unfortunately, I do have to work more than one day a okay. year. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so when you said you, you work with teenagers who want to talk, mm. that sounds like nobody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, oh, I've just... I've got a way with people. I can make them talk. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, you put uh, electrodes on them? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a special chair in my office. All right. <laughs> They're like, Lani, I'm depressed, and you waterboard them to cheer them up. <laughs> I, I make sure they know that life could be a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. Yes, Tom. Uh, which part of England are you from? I'm from up north, Tom. All right. From Stockton or Billingham. That's a tiny shithole, yeah? It is. <laughs> it's really small. I looked yeah. it up. It's... Yeah, if, if, if the UK was a person, it would be uh, uh, the armpit. The, um, <laughs> the mole on the armpit right. in the shithole. OK. <laughs> now... Morse code is your expert subject. It is, Tom. If you ever see a track reversing, do you try to decode what it's saying? <laughs> <laughs> now, you do Morse code to relax yourself at the dentist. Mm. Can, you ex <laughs> can you explain this? Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm terrified of the dentist, Tom. Well, you're English. You should be. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In, in Australia, we love the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> so, to, uh, to put myself at ease, I found that doing Morse code helps, and to help with the pain relief, I, I swear at the dentist. So, I, <laughs> I tap out expletives. Oh, yeah. right, so you tap out Morse code messages... Yep, I call ..that it he can't understand. That he can't understand. <laughs> I find when you insult someone, it's much more enjoyable if they know what you're saying. Yeah, but this guy's got a drill in his hand and... Oh, mm, OK. Yeah, you've got to be careful. Now, your daughter made you a birthday card in Morse code. Oh. There it is. Oh, that. <laughs> does any of that say SOS, save me from this family? <laughs> it doesn't, no, but um, she did a great job, but yeah. um, she kind of got confused with some of the variations at the end. Oh. At the very end, she gets her T's and her L's mixed up. Oh, right. So she's called Matilda or Tilly for short. Yes. And unfortunately, she signed off with Titty. <laughs> Hi. You're from Kingston-upon-Thames. It's a bit posh, isn't it? It's actually just part of London, but it just sounds really fancy. So, yeah. yeah. It's not like some shithole like where Richard lives. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. Now, you're into Animal Crossing. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was a game just to waste time. I mean, it is, but, you know... Do, do you play it on your phone? 
Uh, right. You can, but there's also a bunch of other devices you can play it on. Right, what, what do you do? You, like, pay off your debt and, like, catch fish and make friends with little animal creatures. <laughs> <laughs> OK. So you pay off your debts? Well, people like me can't afford a house in the current market, so we've got to, you know, we've got to live our dreams somehow. Oh, OK. <laughs> so that's why it's popular with millennials, cos you can actually complete a home loan. Exactly. <laughs> Lee! Hello, John. Bethnal Green is where you're from originally, the centre of London. Centre uh, of the universe. Yes, oh. <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> you're offending the colonies. <laughs> Now, you're into Machen stamps. Machen stamps are the standard stamps used in England? Yep. Can you explain them to Australians? It's a picture of the Queen's head. Right, OK. <laughs> They're basically all the stamps and they all have the Queen's head on them? Yep. They're of, except they've got different values and different colours. Yep. So your stamp collection is a huge bunch of stamps that all look the same? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Morse code is starting to sound sexy. <laughs> What actually got you into stamp collecting in the first place? I used to be a postman. I was oh. a postman for three years. OK. So you're at work staring at stamps all day and you thought, I should stare at these at home? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you get into envelopes? Because they're all the same colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's play. Hard! Expert round. Expert subject. Win or lose five points. Steal an answer, double points. All right, each of you five questions on your expert subject. Right, you get five points. Wrong, I will take five points from you. The rest of you can steal at any time to get double points. Let's start with Lee and his expert subject, Machen Stamps. <laughs> First appearing on stamps in 1967, Arnold Machen's effigy of Queen Elizabeth II was sculpted in clay before being cast in what material? <laughs> Lee. Plaster. Correct. It's the most reproduced work of art ever. It's been reproduced more than 300 billion times. She actually never let them change it, did she? No. Because they use the same artwork every time. They're exactly the same. <laughs> For the 150th anniversary of the first ever stamp, the Queen was depicted alongside which of her ancestors? <laughs> Lee. Queen Victoria. Correct. Appearing on regional or country versions of Machen stamps is what creature seen as a symbol of Wales? Lee. Dragon. Correct. <laughs> yeah, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland can buy their own versions because they don't want to lick the dirty English stamps. <laughs> In 2022, the Royal Mail announced that the only Machen stamps valid for postage in a year's time would be those with what modern edition, <laughs> Lee? Barcode. Correct. <laughs> Last question in your set, Lee. Designer Arnold Machen's similar effigy of the Queen appeared on coins issued by which nation at its decimalisation in 1966? Richard for the steal. Australia. Correct. <laughs> Yeah, he designed that image for UK coins, but heaps of other countries nicked it, including us. We're good at stealing things. <laughs> Time now for Ellie and Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Crossing is based on a Japanese game with American adaptations like the Christmas-inspired Toy Day and what Easter-themed day? <laughs> Ellie. I think it's called Bunny Day. Correct. <laughs> Gamer Jessica Kovalik went viral by revealing that celebrity player Elijah Wood had visited her virtual island to sell what vegetable? Uh, Ellie. Turnips. Correct. <laughs> turnips are a big part of the game's economy, mm -hmm. and the shop on her island was buying them for a good price. Yeah, they have like they call it the stalk market. It's like the stock market, but they're, they're turnips. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Described by some fans as landlord scum, the character Tom Nook is based on the real-life raccoon dog that is also known by what Japanese name, <laughs> Ellie? Tanuki. Correct. <laughs> In 2020, Animal Crossing was removed from sale in China after activists used the game to protest Chinese policies in what territory, <laughs> Ellie? Hong Kong. Correct. 
Last question in your set, Ellie. Mr Rossetti, an angry mole who yells at players who reset the game without saving, lost his job with the release of New Horizons due to what technical feature? Uh, Ellie. Auto saving. Correct! Five five. Yeah, so uh, I'm guessing none of you others play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Out a treat, Ellie. <laughs> Finally, the generational divide is going in your favour. <laughs> but you'll never own a house. <laughs> Next set of questions is for Richard on Morse code. Beep, 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 Named after one of its inventors, Morse code is a system of dots and dashes assigned to the alphabet based on frequency of use, with which letter being the shortest to transmit... B, e, Tom. Correct! <laughs> yeah, so the idea being you're going to use E the most often, so you want it to be easy to type, so it's just a dot. That's correct. During a North Vietnamese propaganda broadcast, American POW commander Jeremiah Denton used Morse code to spell the word torture through what physical action, Richard? He was blinking, Tom. Correct! <laughs> yes, he pretended to be blinded by the lights and it showed the world that POWs were being tortured during the Vietnam War. Uh, it's also why I was blinking during the stamps questions. <laughs> In 1912, after the RMS Titanic struck an iceberg, the wireless operators joked that it might be their last chance to try which new distress signal, Richard? The new distress signal was SOS, Tom. Correct! <laughs> What's SOS stand for? It doesn't stand for anything, Tom. Correct. Thank you, okay, extra, extra points. <laughs> no, no, it's a myth that it stands for save our souls, but it yeah. doesn't, it's just, it's just a rhythm. Australian-born composer Barrington Thielung used the code to spell out the lead character's name in the theme music of which... Richard? Inspector Morse, Tom. Correct! <laughs> which British crime drama? Inspector Morse is correct. Uh, let's have a listen. <laughs> Last question in your set, Richard. The first change to the code since World War II came in 2004, when which symbol was added? Richard. Yeah, the at commercial symbol on the left side. Correct! <laughs> so let's just focus on that for a second. Sure. Why did they need the at symbol? <laughs> they didn't because... It was to send Morse code to each other so you could actually type out in Morse code someone's email address. Do you understand <laughs> how <laughs> stupid that sounds? <laughs> It's Lani and Goodwill Hunting. <laughs> Close friends in real life, Ben Affleck and Matt Damon co-wrote Goodwill Hunting based on a script submitted by Damon during a playwriting course at which Ivy League institution? Lani. Harvard. Correct. <laughs> the super intelligent Will Hunting proves a mathematical advanced Fourier system while working at a university in what role? Lani. Janitor. Correct. <laughs> Playing Will's therapist, Sean Maguire, Robin Williams ad-libbed a story about his character's late wife doing what? <laughs> Lani. Farting. Correct. <laughs> yeah, Robin Williams won his first Oscar as Best Supporting Actor in the film and uh, the other guys won Best Original Screenplay, which seems unfair because Robin Williams ad-libbed the best lines. <laughs> At the end of a night at the Bow and Arrow Bar, Will gets the number of a pre-med student, Skylar, and yells at a rival, how do you like them, what? Apples. Like... Correct. <laughs> Last question in your set, Lani. Gus Van Sant directed the film after a series of other names had been attached to the role, including which Australian? <laughs> Time's up, Mel Gibson. Of course. Oh. So you I, did know that? I knew that and I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we've looked through their subjects. Now let's look through mine. Tom's round.
Kong's subject, multiple choice. This week, I've been really getting into the ashes. This round is multiple choice. Select your answers on your screens, then press the buzzer to lock in the answer. Ash Wednesday marks the first day of which religious observation? A, Hanukkah, B, Ramadan, C, Diwali, D, Lent. The answer is D, Lent. Yeah, ashes are applied to the forehead as a symbol of repentance, uh, which I do not observe. <laughs> <laughs> which of these types of ash is not formed by the chemical reaction of combustion? A, wood ash, B, coal ash, C, paper ash, D, volcanic ash. The answer is D, volcanic ash. <laughs> yeah, volcanic ash is technically not ash. They're just actually really tiny rocks. Who is this? A, Ashley Olsen, B, Ashley Olsen, C, Ashley Olsen, D, <laughs> Mary-Kate Olsen. The answer is A, Ashley Olsen. <laughs> Obviously, Ashley Olsen is right-handed, two minutes older and one inch taller than her sister, Mary-Kate. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Native to Victoria and Tasmania, Eucalyptus regnans, better known as the mountain ash tree, boasts what distinction? A, tallest tree in Australia, B, tallest hardwood tree in the world, C, tallest flowering plant in the world, D, all of the above. The answer is D, all of the above. <laughs> the last question in my rounds were double points. Which of these curios is actually a vintage ashtray? A, this one. <laughs> B, this one. C, this one. D, that one. E, that one. Or F, that one. Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> The answer is A, this one. <laughs> yeah, the cat head is Wembley Ware, made in Perth in the 1950s, and you stick the butt out in its mouth and the smoke comes out its nostrils. <laughs> All right, at the end of my round, Lee, you're at the bottom on 15. Get over here. <laughs> what do you reckon, Lee? What happened? I've got a brush up on my ashes. Uh, well, I think maybe you've spent too much time staring at stamps and, <laughs> and not the rest of the world. <laughs> All right, you know what this means? Out! <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> All right. Huzzah, it's a people's round. The people's round against the clock. Sip your tea, play along at home. Your time starts now. In Aussie slang, what bird is a chook? Ellie. Chicken. Yes. Paul Hogan formerly worked as a rigger on which Sydney landmark? Richard. The Sydney Harbour Bridge. Yes. In Australia, a Southern Cross tattoo typically depicts how many stars? Richard. Five. Yes. Common slang for thirsty is dry as a dead dingo's what? Lani. <laughs> Too slow. Donga. Donga. <laughs> if I've whipped up a pav, what dessert have I made? Ellie. Pavlova. Yes! Rhyming with silly billy is what Australian native plant often used in hedges. Richard. A lily pilly? Yes! The kebab shop staple, HSP, stands for what sort of snack pack? Ellie. Hello. Yes! Time's up! Lani, you're at the bottom on 20. Get over here. Where do you feel you went wrong, Lani? Uh, not getting the answers right. <laughs> How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> <Out>. <laughs> Quiz champion Ellie and Richard get over here because it's time to play hard quiz. Final round, head to head, Animal Crossing versus Morse code. 
Hard Quiz. Now, there can only be one Hard Quiz champion who gets to take home the limited edition Big Brass mug. What will you do with the mug if you win, Ellie? Um, so I read a lot of books and I have loads that are unread, so I write their like, names on slips of paper and I would use it to like, decide which one would like a lucky dip. Oh, if that okay. makes sense. You've got too many books to read. So many. It's okay. Ridiculous. So yeah. you're just going to use that as a sorting system? Basically, yeah. <laughs> like okay. a lucky dip, yeah. All right, what about you, Richard? Well, I'm an ultra sonographer, Tom, so I'm, I use a lot of lube and I need some method of keeping it warm. So you do ultrasound? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you're going to put your lube in there? <laughs> what you saying? Put my lube in there, put a heating element on the bottom, and uh, you're going to be warming my patient's lube. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're just going to use it for a big mug full of warm lube. <laughs> Slap it on. S slap and then... Smush it around. And then search around. <laughs> Think of the comfort you're going to bring people to. OK. <laughs> it's best to fire penalty shootout style. Harder questions on your expert subjects. So it's Ellie's knowledge of Animal Crossing versus Richard's knowledge of Morse code. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play. Hard! <laughs> All right, you ready to go, Ellie? Always. OK. The guitar-playing dog, K.K. Slider... <laughs> he's a busker in the first game, but by the release of New Horizons, he's a superstar who will only visit your island once it has attained what achievement? Um, OK, well, <laughs> um, I think... Well, I know they have, like, a rating system on the islands, so um, you have to have, like... I think it's, like, a five-star or a perfect island. Um, so I'm guessing that's what it is, but I could have sworn he comes on Saturday, so maybe I'm just making that up. But I'm going to go for... Uh, Five-star rating. Incorrect. Oh. The correct answer is a three-star rating. Oh. <laughs> so okay. you only need a three-star rating to get him onto your made-up island. <laughs> <laughs> it all sounds very important. Um, how do you get these ratings in the game? I think it depends on um, different things you have on your island, so, like, how much flora and fauna you have, how mm -hmm. happy your villages are, um, you can get, like, weeds, so if you have lots of weeds, it's going to be a lower rating, stuff like that. Do you have to do weeding in the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sucks. <laughs> I hate weeding in my actual garden. <laughs> so, <laughs> just come to my house and do my weeding. <laughs> Richard, in International Morse Code, as laid out by the UN's Agency for Communications Technology, what signal is used to advise that you have made an error? Uh, I do know this. It's a series of dots, and I believe it is eight in total, all evenly spaced. Correct. <laughs> Have you been tapping that on the podium when you got something wrong? <laughs> I've been tapping out torture all night, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie. Animal Crossing creator Katsuya Iguchi developed the game about family, friendship and the community in an attempt to recreate what experience in his own life. Um, so I know that he had to move away from all his family and friends to go to the Nintendo headquarters at Kyoto to basically get the job that he had. Uh, and it made him kind of sad and lonely, I suppose, not being with all his family and friends. Um, so, yeah, it was basically to recreate the experience of moving away from... moving into a new place where you don't know anybody and making friends. Correct. Richard, winning a gold lion for advertising at Cannes, the Colombian song Better Days contained a disguised Morse code message specifically addressing what group of people? Uh, yeah, I am familiar with this. Um, the, there were uh, people held captive by FARC guerrillas, so they were soldiers okay, for Many the... for that. <laughs> Yeah, they were being held captive by FARC guerrillas. They were... <laughs> <laughs> so they would have been uh, part of the Colombian military. They were prisoners of war. Correct. <laughs> the rebel army would hold captives for years, so the army and an ad company hid the message, 19 people rescued, you are next, don't lose hope, and got the song played on the radio. Yeah, it's a really catchy tune. Yeah. I've heard it a lot. <laughs> Ellie. You're playing New Leaf and you get a side job as a barista <laughs> on top of your duties as mayor. 
including the variety of beans, how does your secret secretary, Isabel, take her coffee? <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> Did you understand that? I don't understand that. Yeah, that's you do? Okay. All right. Um, how did you take a coffee? Oh, I know that there's two different like things they say about it. I think one of them is like, oh, I like it, like I don't know, sweet or full bodied. And I, I, I can't remember what the other one is, but um, I mean, I don't know. I, it would either be like milk or sugar. I don't know. Maybe like with two sugars. Let's go for that. Incorrect. Oh. I did ask to include the variety of beans. The correct answer is mocha beans, oh. uh, lots of milk, and three sugars. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. Richard. Yes, Tom. A classic Nokia ringtone was the ascending message alert tone, which spelled out what two words in Morse code? Ooh. Two words in Morse code. I will have to just say... SMS, I don't know. Incorrect. Do you want to hear what it sounded like? Sure. Do you know what it's saying? No. Oh. <laughs> the correct answer is connecting people. Oh. Ellie. In 2019, several memes featuring Thanos from the Avengers film went viral as part of a fan obsession with bringing back which item of furniture from the previous games? Oh, I'm fairly sure I know what this is, and the item is so good. Um, it was a pretty... <laughs> I'm into it, it's weird. Um, the item, it was a chair that looked like a frog, and it was called Froggy Chair, I believe. Correct. <laughs> Richard, take a look at this. Developed by the Bunnell Company to prevent telegraphist paralysis, this style of Morse code key is known by what name? Um, well, it's a single lever paddle. Um, and the operator is side to side, instead of up and down, Tom. Um, so some people call it a side swiper. Some people call it a single lever paddle. Some people call it a cootie key. I'm going to go with the side swiper top. Correct. <laughs> Ellie, you have to get this correct. If you get this wrong, then Richard, you are tonight's hard quiz champion. Ellie. Animal Crossing is synchronised to real world time via the console's system clock, with some events occurring only at precise moments. What time does the alien broadcast play on TV screens? Oh, it's so cool. Um, so, yeah, so you, your TV screen, if you turn it on at this time, like, a little alien will come up and, like, speak to you. Um, it's 3.33 a.m. Correct. <laughs> Have you ever got up in the middle of the night to watch it? <laughs> I, I haven't, but I think one time I just happened to be up then and on Animal Crossing for some yeah. reason. I, I did see it. Oh, I just, <laughs> just happened just to be up. Uh, <laughs> having not gone to bed from playing Animal Crossing all day. <laughs> Richard, if you get this right, you are tonight's hard quiz champion. In 1903, a demonstration of wireless telegraphy by Guillermo Marconi was interrupted by a rival who transmitted what one-word exclamation in Morse code? I believe it was rats, Tom. Correct, which means you are tonight's hard quiz champion! <laughs> all right, Ellie, you know this man. Richard, you are tonight's Hard Quiz Champion, which means you get the big brass back and you get to give the sign off. Thanks for playing. Ah. Yes! Well done. <laughs>